Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm JP and uh, this is my outdoor DIY channel where we do many things outdoors, a lot of things DIY, and either way, they're usually related. So, um, we just got finished doing the dual propane tank conversion and now we're gonna do the dual battery box conversion. So, I've already removed the battery. Now, there's really nothing much to removing the battery. The old box just comes out, uh, you know, two screws in the bottom and then your cables, just make sure you don't touch your positives and negatives. Uh, everything comes right on out. So this is the Nobo 19.3 and the main question that I had whenever I was looking at converting this over to dual batteries was trying to you know figure out if I could actually get them to fit in the stock location. Now I know I can get two 12 volt batteries in there the uh, tw group 24 batteries um, these are the GC2's uh, I actually went with 6 volt AGM so they're all sealed I could technically mount them in any position they don't need to be vented I can mount them inside but I would like to get them on the tongue of the trailer. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, I picked out a few different battery boxes and we're gonna see which ones work the best. This was the stock battery box and it just came in, it was mounted like that. It had two screws down in the bottom corners that I removed. Um, but you can see it just went in there and it was pretty simple with the lid that went on top. So you can see here why I actually had a concern over the clearance of the boxes because this is a 12 volt battery box that was stock and I already had very little space. Um, the six volt batteries, they're probably a good two to three inches taller and I needed that space and that clearance and I didn't know where I was gonna get it from. All right, so you can see here that this is your typical six volt battery box and when I put it in there, I am really out of room. I can't even get the lid on here. So I started thinking, well, what if I mounted the batteries like this? What if I mounted them like this, which was a possibility that I thought of. I could cut this bracket and re-weld it in a different location, uh, but I'm trying to avoid that, right? So the real question was, how am I gonna do this? And then I just happened to uh, be at the dealer when they were installing some battery boxes on a different type of trailer, and I think I came up with the solution. And here it is. This is the Camco double battery box. I believe it's good for 12 volts and six volt applications. So you can see here that it holds two six volt group GC2 batteries or two 12 volt group 24 slash 24 M batteries. So the real question though, was the lid shape. And so this lid seems to be shaped. It's got a little bit of a taper to it um, on the back end. I'm going to touch just slightly, but the lid snaps into place and, and goes on there. So I think this is my solution. All right, it's not the greatest, and I'm gonna see how this works. If it ends up rubbing or anything like that uh, too much, then I probably will just be moving this bracket. But for the everyday person that's just trying to convert over to two six volt batteries, this'll do it, as long as you have ample space. So let's go ahead, let's get this box mounted, and let's put our batteries in. So now all I've done here is I got this, I just centered it on my tongue, and then these are just the 3 8 uh, inch head um, self-tapping screws that I pulled out of the other box and I'm just gonna mount those into the corners. All right, so we got this mounted. I went ahead and just ran a couple other 5 16 inch self-tapping screws that I had uh, just in the other corners. And right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out how we're gonna run our cabling. So these are the main connections for this trailer. We also have another hot wire over here that runs to my power jack, which would not reach over on this side. So I'm gonna have a positive over here and I'm gonna do the negative over here. I have plenty of room to do it in. Everything is coming in from the front because I don't have the space in the back to do it. You might be able to route yours in a different way, maybe come in from the back or the sides. Uh, but for me, this is what's gonna work best. So let's go ahead, we gotta get our batteries in here. Whew. Now, if you don't have one of these straps for lifting these six volt batteries, get one. This is the only way to move those around. Now, we're gonna be mounting these in series, which means that I'm gonna connect the positive to the negative of one side, connect my positive cable here, my negative cable over here going to the trailer. So these two are actually gonna be connected and it's gonna make all these cells run together, uh, giving us 12 volts instead of just six volts. So you can put these together however yours fits. This seems to be the best for mine, so let's go ahead. So now we're gonna tighten that up. And 
now we are going to take the positive cable first. All right, put that on there. Run my loom back in here just because that's the way it was. All right, connect our ground cables. When you're doing this, you just want to be careful not to touch the positive, whether it's your wrench or the cable itself. You don't want to accidentally touch these two. So I'm going to point mine coming straight out because that's the way that my lid is shaped. All right, and there we go. So you see with just a little bit of maneuvering, Make sure I'm covered all the way in the back. I'm just gonna strap this down. That just goes right in there like that. Nice and tight. All right, if you're ever wondering how to do these straps, you just open that up. This comes in from the back side. And then you cinch it. That holds it in place and then goes through that way. Well, there you go. Uh, it really wasn't too hard. I think the hardest part was lifting the batteries and getting them back here. But uh, we got the dual batteries on. Uh, switched over our controllers so now they're charging properly. Uh, flipped over the uh, disconnect switch and uh, didn't blow any fuses. So everything checks out. This more than doubled by capacity, which is going to be great whenever we're boondocking. Got the dual tanks. Uh, possibility to go up to 30 pounds make sure you check out that video and again if you guys found this helpful make sure you hit that like button and if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so yet make sure you subscribe also be sure to check that notification bell so that you are getting those updates as soon as i release a video and uh, again thanks for watching stay tuned and i'll catch you on the next video